Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anthony. The old intro is back once again. Anyways, today I bring you 100 things veteran players know about Minecraft. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see my big things you didn't know about Minecraft video that I'll be putting out in a few days. Also, I have an Instagram, so feel free to follow me on there if you're interested. Anyways, on with the video. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, there used to be no hunger bar in the game, which which meant players regenerated their hearts by just simply eating food. It was a lot simpler back then, and if you remember this, then you are a veteran player. At one point in Minecraft, bows were quite overpowered because you could shoot them ridiculously fast and spam click arrows. It was insane. One thing I especially remember in the old days of Minecraft is when food didn't stack. It was one of the most annoying things in the game. I would remember having a full inventory of raw pork chops and it was just so annoying. If you remember this door sound, you are a veteran Minecraft player. I miss this sound so much, man. Do you remember when birch trees and spruce trees would just give you oak planks? It was really strange. Do you guys remember the old boats? Because I do, they were absolutely terrible to control, would break all the time, and were just really, really slow. Another feature I remember in the old days of Minecraft is that you could simply just punch a sheep and it would drop wool. Nope, you didn't have to use shears or anything like that. You could just punch it and it would drop wool. It was ridiculous. Do you guys remember before version beta 1.8 when you could toggle your render distance and fog by pressing the F key on your keyboard? I was quite annoyed when they got rid of it to be honest because I found it quite useful as my PC back then was terrible. Oh my god, do you guys remember in Minecraft when fences didn't connect to solid blocks? Because I do and it was very frustrating. Another thing that was really annoying about fences is that they used to be a full block making walking around them just really tedious and annoying. I don't think you even need to be an old school Minecraft player to remember this, and that is the old hurt sound. I'm sure all of you watching this video remember this. Take a listen. <coughs> It still makes me so sad to this day that they even removed this. I loved it so much. If you remember this cobblestone texture, then you are an old school Minecraft player because it was either loved or hated by the community. I remember back to a time when mossy cobblestone was one of the rarest blocks in the game as it didn't have a crafting recipe and could only be obtained from dungeons, which were really hard to come by. Do you guys remember when sprinting was not in Minecraft? That's right, before the beta one point eight update sprinting was not in the game which meant getting from point a to point b in your minecraft world took a lot longer and it was a lot more painful oh my god do you guys remember that feature in minecraft where when you slept in a bed there was a chance for either a zombie or a skeleton to wake you up as you tried to sleep and they would begin to attack you I don't know if it was an annoying feature or a cool feature. I really can't decide. Do you guys remember when you could press the F3 key on your keyboard and it would show the entity numbers of mobs, meaning you could essentially cheat to find cave systems? If you remember the old creative mode inventory when it was just a list of all of the items in the game instead of having tabs for specific items, then you are a Minecraft veteran. I remember this old creative mode inventory and it was really annoying to navigate through. I really prefer the new one. Do you guys remember back to a time where pigs were the only animal in Minecraft that would drop food? Sheep, cows and chickens didn't drop any food, which was kind of frustrating to be honest and it made finding food quite difficult. I'm sure a lot of you old school players will remember when the chest was a full block and looked like this and the fact that it didn't have an open and closing animation. Chests were a lot more simple back in the day. Do you guys remember when mobs weren't as smart and they couldn't walk around walls, for example? This basically meant that creepers would just jump scare you when you would walk past the wall, and it was terrifying. Ugh, creepers would also do this thing where they would just stare at you from outside through your glass window in your house, and it scared me so much, man. They look so creepy. Speaking of creepers once again, if you remember the old explosion sound, then you are a Minecraft veteran. Take a listen. One old feature that I'm sure a lot of old school players will remember is that you couldn't place double chests next to each other, which was just 
so annoying. You would lay out your house in this really good way. You'd want to place two double chests and it just wouldn't let you. It was just so frustrating, man. You know how with every Minecraft update that comes out now, there is a new background on the title screen to match the update theme? Well, in the old versions of Minecraft, this wasn't a thing. You just had a dirt background on the title screen, and it makes me nostalgic every time I see it. Another thing I remember about the title screen of Minecraft is when the Minecraft logo was different. Do you remember when the logo was just made out of what looks to be the cobblestone texture? Because I do, and I thought it looked kind of cool, to be honest. You are definitely a Minecraft veteran if you remember the feature of climbing up ladders with a one-block gap between each ladder. It kind of meant that you could save quite a few ladders with this trick, but they eventually removed this feature. If you remember this feature in Minecraft, then you are an old school player, and that feature is when the lighting would change in stages when it was getting dark, and oh my god, it looked so scary just gradually watching the light change. Do you guys remember the old crafting recipe for fences? Because I still do it to this day. So, in Minecraft today, fences are crafted with two sticks and four planks, but in older versions of Minecraft, they were crafted with six sticks. But I still do this crafting recipe to this day. I just can't get it out of my head. I always get the recipe wrong when trying to craft fences. You know how in Minecraft where if you press F5 twice on your keyboard, you can see the front facing part of your skin. It's a really cool feature. Well, in the old versions of Minecraft, you couldn't do this. You could only press F5 once and see the back of your skin, which was really depressing to be honest, because I wanted to see what my skin looked like in full form, but... I couldn't. Do you guys remember when you could only have five Minecraft worlds? It really meant that you had to make each world count because there were only five world slots. This is the rose flower. It was one of my favorite flowers in Minecraft and they removed it and replaced it with the poppy. Why couldn't we have just had both of them? I will be angry about this for probably the rest of my life. Yes, I am that sad. Before creative mode and commands were even a thing in Minecraft, players back in the day had to rely on mods such as single player commands and too many items, which allowed you to spawn in items and fly around and things like that. Things you could do in Minecraft today, but you couldn't back then without the use of mods. Do you guys remember back to a simpler time when beds were not in Minecraft? Because I do. Back in the alpha versions of the game, beds did not exist, which meant you had to sort of wait out the night cycle, making surviving in your world just a lot more challenging. If you played Minecraft in the alpha days of the game, then you'll probably remember that the inventory key used to be I instead of E. I hear that some people still use I as their inventory key today because they're so used to it. Me personally, I use E. The old gravel texture. I know some of you remember it. For some reason, back in the earlier days of Minecraft, zombies dropped feathers. I'm sure some of you remember this, and it was just a little bit weird, to be honest. I remember going out to kill zombies for feathers just so I could make arrows. Oh my god, I'm sure a lot of you Minecraft veterans will remember the world generation of the alpha and beta days of Minecraft. It looked absolutely insane. Some of the mountainous terrain you would get was just... It was mind-blowing. Just just look at it. If you remember watching the Yogg's Cast original survival series, then you are a Minecraft veteran. Take a look. Hooray, Minecraft. We've created a new server, and we're going to show people how to play Minecraft, how to survive the first night. It's oh beautiful. Oh my god, it's terribly snowy. What on earth happened here? This game is beautiful. It is. Made by a single man. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> So this is it, this is the game. <laughs> this is Minecraft. Is surviving the first <laughs> It's just us in the dark. Oh, it brings back so many memories, man. If you thought max enchanting at 30 levels costs a lot in Minecraft, then think again, because when enchanting was first added, max enchanting on tools and armor cost 50 levels, which was insane. On top of that, before the feature of having to use lapis to enchant was added, enchanting tools or armor at level 30 would take all of your XP for that one tool instead of taking three levels, which was just Insane. You would spend so long grinding for those levels just to use it on one item. Another enchanting feature that old school players will remember is that you couldn't see what enchantment you were going to get at all. In Minecraft today, you get shown one of the possible enchantments you will get on an item, but in older versions of Minecraft, you had to just risk it and see what you would get, which was just 
Oh my god, it was so frustrating. I remember a time where you could activate and ignite TNT by just simply punching it with your hand. You didn't need flint and steel at all, which was... Pretty awesome, not gonna lie. If you remember the infamous Minecraft seed Glacier, then you are a Minecraft veteran. It was basically a seed in the beta days of Minecraft that just gave you this awe-inspiring world generation. It looked absolutely fantastic. Just look at it. You should honestly go back to beta 1.7.3 and try out this seed because seriously, you will be blown away at how amazing it looks. In Minecraft today, we have these things called advancements where you basically complete little tasks in Minecraft. But do you guys remember when achievements were in the game they were very similar to enchantments but they were just a little bit different and i will always remember these before beta 1.8 when the hunger bar was added into minecraft there was no eating animation in the game so when you would consume a cooked pork chop you'd simply just right click on it and boom it would be gone there would be no nom nom nomming on the item it would just it would just disappear when you'd right click on it. If you played Minecraft Alpha before biomes were added into the game, then you will remember when Minecraft worlds looked like this. There was just one type of grass and it was this really bright green looking grass and I have to say it made your Minecraft worlds look very bright but very unique. Do you guys remember this? When you or your friend died in Minecraft, their body would just disappear and die instead of having a death animation, which uh, looked a bit weird, not gonna lie. Do you remember when village structures were added in beta 1.8, but no villagers were added to spawn yet, making the village itself very creepy and sort of empty? I remember playing the game and just encountering a village, but there was just there was just nothing there. It was just really weird to be around it. Oh my god, another thing I remember is when mining the crafting table and the furnace took absolutely ages. You could use an axe on a crafting table, it would still take forever. Use a diamond pick on a furnace, it would still take forever. You probably don't even need to be a Minecraft veteran to remember this, but do you remember when you could spam click your sword? I'm sure a lot of you do, and a lot of people got mad when this was changed. Were you guys one of them? Let me know in the comments below. I'm sure some of you remember back to a time where fire in Minecraft used to spread insanely fast, so if you started a fire in your world, it was going to be very devastating. You are indeed a Minecraft veteran, if you remember when you could block with your sword instead of blocking with your shield. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, items such as stairs, fences, pressure plates, cacti, and other blocks looked absolutely huge when thrown on the ground. I mean, just look at them. I'm sure some of you remember this bug. It looked so funny. And if you do remember it, then you are a Minecraft veteran. Do you guys remember when caves in Minecraft were only made out of stone? You wouldn't find blocks such as granite, diorite, or andesite blending in with the stone. You'd only find stone, which made the caves look a lot more simple back then. In the alpha and beta days of Minecraft, the zombie pigmen used used to drop a cooked pork chop upon death, making them one of the strongest food sources in Minecraft. And if you remember this, then you are a Minecraft veteran. The old lava texture. I know some of you remember this, and if you do remember this texture, then you are a Minecraft veteran. If you were one of those Minecraft players a few years back that made your house out of diamond blocks in creative mode, then you are a Minecraft veteran. I just remember a lot of people doing that back in the day. Were you one of them? Let me know in the comments. Do you guys remember back to a time when there was only one type of wooden plank in the game and that wooden plank was the oak plank. There was no birch plank, jungle plank or spruce plank or anything like that. It was just oak planks and if you remember this then you are a Minecraft veteran. You are definitely a Minecraft veteran if you remember this and that is when you would come across these massive holes in your Minecraft world which are otherwise known as chunk errors and and they'd look like this. Oh my god, if you played Minecraft in the alpha days of the game, then you will remember how annoying this was. And that was when leaves didn't decay after you broke a tree. It was so frustrating. You know, you'd just be chopping down a bunch of trees in your world, and then you'd notice that all the leaves from that tree aren't disappearing, because they wouldn't decay unless you manually broke them yourself. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, there was a time where the infamous enchanted gold 
golden apple had a crafting recipe. That's right, the enchanted golden apple or the notch apple could be crafted with eight gold blocks and one apple, which some considered to be quite overpowered due to the effects of the apple giving the player. This resulted in the crafting recipe for the enchanted golden apple to be removed in the 1.9 combat update in 2015. You can still find enchanted golden apples in your Minecraft world, but they are extremely rare and can only be found in structures such as dungeons and mine shafts. But with all that said, if you remember the crafting recipe for the Notch Apple, then you are a Minecraft veteran. Oh my god, do you guys remember when creative mode was first added in beta 1.8 and mobs could attack you? It was the most annoying thing ever. I'd be building my house in creative mode, you know, peacefully, and a creeper would just come up to me and blow it up. Do you guys remember when you couldn't toggle your brightness in Minecraft? Because I do. This resulted in cave systems back in the day being extremely hard to see in. If you didn't have any torches, you were not able to see anything in caves. Nowadays in Minecraft, you could literally have your brightness on full and explore a cave and sort of see without even having a torch. It's kind of crazy. Do you guys remember back to a time when you would find dungeons generated on the surface in your Minecraft world? Because I do. You'd just be walking around in a desert bio, minding your own business, and suddenly you'd come across this big square hole with either an exposed dungeon in it or a dungeon that's just covered in some sand and would require you to dig it out. I also remember the spawner and the two chests having a sand block on top of them, making you know exactly where they were when clearing out the dungeon. I remember back to a time when cookies were one of the hardest foods to obtain in Minecraft and I will tell you why. So cookies in Minecraft are crafted with wheat and cocoa beans, but cocoa beans in the beta days of Minecraft could only be found in dungeon chests. That's right, you couldn't find them any other way, making them extremely hard to find. It wasn't until version release 1.3 where cocoa pods were added to spawn on jungle trees, making cocoa beans a bit easier to find and cookies a bit easier to craft. But yeah, if you remember how rare cookies were in the beta days of Minecraft, then you are a Minecraft veteran. In the beta days of Minecraft, bone meal was extremely overpowered as using it on trees or wheat farms, for example, would grow them instantly instead of growing it in stages. This resulted in bone meal being significantly nerfed in version 1.5 as you now have to grow the tree, for example, in stages. But yeah, if you remember the old bone meal where it instantly grew a tree, then you are a Minecraft veteran. At one point in Minecraft's development, there was a bug that existed in the game where wooden slabs could only be broken if they were broken by a pickaxe. That's right, axes didn't work, you couldn't use your fist or anything, you had to use a pickaxe and it was very strange. And if you remember this, then you are a Minecraft veteran. This next feature is going to sound really random, but if you remember when the villager had the testificate name tag above their head when they were first added into the game, then you are a Minecraft veteran because they were added all the way back in beta 1.9 in 2011, which was a really long time ago. So yeah, if you remember this feature, then you are an old school player. Do you guys remember back to a time when finding diamonds in Minecraft was considered to be the end game as there wasn't really much to do after finding them? That's right, we are talking back to a time when there wasn't enchanting for your tools and there wasn't any abandoned mine shafts to explore and there even wasn't the ender dragon to fight. All you could really do was go mining to find diamonds or build. It was very simple back then, but it was very beautiful. I might be one of the only players that remembers this, but do you guys remember when the stars that appear at night in Minecraft looked different in the old versions of Minecraft? So here is how the stars look in the old versions of Minecraft, and as you can see, they are absolutely massive compared to how the stars look today, because the stars in Minecraft today look a bit more realistic and slightly smaller and a bit brighter. But yeah, if you remember this, then you are a Minecraft veteran. Do you guys remember back to a simpler time when there wasn't a recipe book in Minecraft to help you craft items in the game? Because I do. I remember not knowing how to craft something and it really bothered me that I had to just Google it because you didn't get any help in the game. You had to figure out how to craft things for yourself and I kind of liked that challenge to be honest. Creative mode was added 
into Minecraft in version beta 1.8 in 2011. In beta 1.8, when you made a creative world, you would always spawn with a bunch of blocks in your hotbar, which I found kind of annoying to be honest, because I'd always just swap them out for different items. Now, if you remember this, then you are a Minecraft veteran. Oh my god, do you guys remember back to a time when the max build height in Minecraft was 128 blocks? Because I do. I remember building up to the build height back in the day and seeing the clouds being level with me, which was really weird. Now the build height in Minecraft is 256, so it's double what it was back in the day. I might be the only one who remembers this, but do you guys remember in the old versions of Minecraft, more specifically Alpha and Beta, when the animals would just jump around a lot more? I don't know what it was. You'd just be seeing a sheep, for example, just jumping all over the place. That's all they do. They just jump around until you killed them, I guess. You will only remember this if you are a Minecraft veteran, and that is when the texture for the steak in Minecraft today originally belonged to the cooked pork chop for the pig in the earlier days of Minecraft. That's right guys, before beta 1.8, the pig was the only animal that dropped meat, which meant they used this texture for the cooked pork chop, and when the cow was given a food drop, they got the texture instead, and the pig got a new cooked pork chop texture, which of course looks like this. If you remember this Minecraft launcher, or this Minecraft launcher, or this Minecraft launcher, then congratulations because you are a Minecraft veteran. Do you guys remember back to a time when the crafting table wasn't actually called the crafting table in Minecraft? Nope, instead it was actually called the workbench, and if you remember this, then you are a Minecraft veteran. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, in the alpha and beta days of the game, swords in Minecraft used to be a lot more powerful. A diamond sword, for example, in alpha and beta used to deal five hearts of damage to enemies, meaning you could kill a creeper in just two hits, which was pretty overpowered. However, in the beta 1.9 update, enchanting was added into the game, which meant sword damage had to be reduced, meaning a diamond sword's damage went from five hearts of damage to three and a half hearts of damage. You know how in Minecraft today, golden apples are crafted by using gold ingots? Well, it wasn't always crafted this way. That's right guys, back in the earlier days of Minecraft, golden apples were crafted with 8 gold nuggets and 1 apple instead of 8 gold ingots and 1 apple, and if you remember this, then you are a Minecraft veteran. If you played Minecraft in the alpha and beta stages of the game, then you will remember a very annoying bug when you destroyed stairs. So in alpha and beta, destroying a wooden stair or a cobblestone stair wouldn't actually give you the stair back when you broke it. Nope, instead of getting the stair back, all you would get is one of the blocks you used to create that stair. So if I destroyed a wooden stair, I'd only get one wooden plank back, and I was just like, alright, thanks for that. Most villagers that you come across in Minecraft today will probably have these grass pathways that look like this. However, if you played Minecraft a few years ago, you will probably remember that the villagers were made out of gravel pathways instead of grass pathways, and the gravel pathways looked like this. But yeah, if you remember the gravel paths in villages, then you are a Minecraft veteran. Which one do you prefer? Grass or gravel? Let me know in the comments. Do you guys remember when the texture for wooden stairs and cobblestone stairs in the inventory looked like this? What on earth is this? It, they don't even look like stairs. Anyways, moving on. Do you guys remember back to a time when you couldn't shift click items when transporting them from your inventory into a chest, because I do. For example, if you wanted to move your diamonds, wood, and food over to a chest, you just have to slowly drag them over to the chest, which took a very long time, but that's just how things were back then. It was much more simple. Nowadays in Minecraft, you can just simply shift-click any item you want, and it will instantly move over to the chest, and I love this feature so much. I'm so glad they added it into the game. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, the desert temple used to be made out of wool, instead of terracotta, and if you remember this, then you are a Minecraft veteran. The reason why I remember it so well is that I would always take the wall from the desert temple so I could make a bed on my first night. If you played Minecraft creative mode when it was first added in version beta 1.8, then you might
might be aware of a bug that existed at the time where you could hit mobs with your sword from a very long distance. I mean, look, I'm killing all of these mobs from so far away. How is this even possible? But yeah, if you remember this weird little bug, then you are a Minecraft veteran. If you played Minecraft in versions 1.7 and 1.8, then you might remember the super secret settings button that could be found in the options menu. Now the super secret settings, when clicked, would switch between a bunch of different shader effects, which looked very, very cool in my opinion, and I was very sad when they removed this feature to be honest. If you played Minecraft before the addition of corner stairs and upside down stairs, then you are a Minecraft veteran. You know, you'd be building your wooden house in Minecraft and you could only play stairs in one type of way, making your builds look a lot more simple back in the day, and I'm sure a lot of you remember this. But then, in version release 1.2 and 1.3, you could now play stairs upside down and connect them on corners, adding a lot more detail to your Minecraft builds. If you remember this Mojang logo, or this Mojang logo, or this Mojang logo, then congratulations because you are a Minecraft veteran. This next one goes out to my old school Minecraft alpha players, and that is back to a time when cacti was slightly more realistic, as when you went to break the cacti, you would actually take half a heart of damage, as you can see, which was uh, kind of cool to be honest. I mean, it makes sense when you go to punch some cacti that it's gonna hurt you. Do you guys remember back to a time when you would craft a cake in Minecraft and it would take your buckets as well. I mean, what's this rubbish? I go to create a cake and it just, it takes my buckets as well. What's up with that? I'm supposed to get them back. Do you guys remember back to a time when there was a secret crafting recipe to craft chain armor in Minecraft? Because I do. So prior to the Minecraft 1.8 update, the player could spawn in fire by using commands and they could use that fire to craft chain armor, as you can see. I remember being amazed when I discovered this, but yeah, they removed the ability to spawn in fire blocks in 1.8 so you can no longer craft chain armor, but yeah, it was such a cool little thing back in the day. I'm sure a lot of you are going to remember this one because it was so frustrating. Do you guys remember when you started drowning underwater that it would actually pull you down as you were drowning so it'd be so hard to swim back up and it would just pretty much kill you. It was so- oh my god it was so annoying. I literally- I'm, I'm getting bad memories of this just thinking about it. I died so many times. If you played Minecraft multiplayer in the earlier days of Minecraft with your friends then you might remember when you encountered counted a dungeon that the spawner would always have a pig inside of it instead of the corresponding mob it was supposed to spawn. So say for example you found a zombie spawner, it would just have a pig inside of it instead which was very strange. I think we can all agree that when you could block with your sword that crouching and blocking with a sword to another player was just a sign of peace and that you didn't want to attack or anything like that. It was, it was just a sign of being nice and I really really miss doing this on servers, man. I'm not sure if anyone's going to remember this one, but do you guys remember the seed Dossier? It was a Minecraft seed between versions 1.2 to 1.6 that would spawn you next to a village and an exposed stronghold. It was a very unique seed. You would just have this single end portal room on the water. It was like nothing anyone had ever seen before. It was so cool, man. This next one is so nostalgic to me, and if you remember it, then you are a Minecraft veteran, and that is the old water sound. The old sound when you would splash around in the water or land in the water or anything like that. Take a listen. You know how in Minecraft today you have to type the command game mode creative to go into creative mode or weather rain to make it rain? Well, originally you only had to type game mode 1 to go into creative and this weird command known as toggle downfall to make it rain. Those were definitely very old school commands and if you remember them then you are a Minecraft veteran. Minecraft has definitely come a long way in terms of lighting as we have these really beautiful looking lanterns now and I 
and love them a lot. With that said, do you guys remember back to a time when villagers had these really budget looking lamps that were made out of fences, wool and torches? Because I do. I mean, yeah, I could see what they were going for to make a lamp. I mean, lanterns didn't exist back then, but uh, they didn't look very good to be honest. I will give credit where it is due, however. That was the closest you were going to get to a lamp to be honest. Anyways, moving on. I might be one of the only ones who remembers this feature, but do you guys remember when desert biomes would have these little lakes inside of them? Because I do. It didn't really make sense, but I'd always find a bunch of little lakes inside the desert biome. In Minecraft today, a desert biome has virtually no water, but back then, you'd find loads of these little lakes. Oh my god, do you guys remember back to a time when skeletons had absolutely terrible aim with their bow and arrow? Because I do. I mean, seriously, look at this. About 90% of this skeleton's arrows aren't going anywhere near me. His aim is, uh, it's, it's uh, not so great. I mean, skeletons in Minecraft today are absolutely ridiculous. They pretty much have aimbot, to be honest, but uh, skeletons back in the alpha and beta days, that th they weren't very good. I'm one of those people people in Minecraft who love to tame a bunch of wolves and give them different name tags and different collar colours. However, back in the earlier days of Minecraft, you couldn't have different collar colours or name tags, which meant you would have a bunch of tamed wolves that would all have a red collar, and I'm sure a lot of you remember this. If you guys remember the old sounds for when you shot a bow and when an arrow landed somewhere, then you are a Minecraft veteran. Take a listen. 